Hello everyone, this is Sue from Sue's Paper Creations. Um, today is Monday and I have got a, a very quick and easy project for you guys. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, I run a Facebook Live every Monday and it is called Make It Monday with Sue Phillips. So this is what I did this morning on my live video. So I thought I would share it here on YouTube for everyone else. Um, but it is an adorable little pocket card. So it has a little insert that you pull out. And it is a great project to use up all of your beautiful DSP that we all have tons and tons of. Um, but you want to get that out and you want to use it and create beautiful things that you can give to other people. So this is a project that I actually watched a friend of mine that I met um, on the Alaska cruise. I met two amazing ladies that we sat with dinner um, every night and one of them is from Texas. Her name is La Quinta Jackson and she made a card just like this, a pocket card, but she made a birthday one. So when I saw that, I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a Christmas spin and share it with you guys because I just loved it so much. Um, another thing that you could do with this is you could also on the back side of here you could easily attach a gift card so that it could be a complete gift. Okay so I'm going to get started. A couple things I am going to um, share with you are the products that I'm going to be using for this project. I am getting out the Dashing Deer bundle. So this is a bundle from our holiday catalog. I love it. I absolutely love these reindeer and we have used one of the dies. I've used it to cut out a reindeer for our focal point here on the front and I use the wood textured paper which is awesome. I love it for all year round. But with this type of background with kind of the pine cones and that, I thought it would be cool to have the tree done in a wood or the uh, reindeer done in a wood grain. So that's why I brought in that. The rest of the papers that I am using from this project is from a set of designer series papers out of our annual catalog. And this paper is called Under the Mistletoe. And I love this paper. Um, and I think another reason why I love it is because it has patterns on one side and more of a Christmas theme on the other. So you could use these other sides, um, again, all year round if you wanted. But I just love the color combination in this. This is one of them. This is another one with some ornaments and a nice red pattern. Um, this is kind of a larger pine cone print. I love these plaids, different plaids and checks that are in it. So this is one of the patterns. And then on the back, there's also these adorable little reindeer. We have got some poinsettias. And again, a basic plaid that you could use all year round. And then I love this piece right here. Gorgeous. And again, a great pattern on the back. So you will find those in the annual catalog. And those are the papers that I'm using today. I'm going to bring in all the pieces that I need for this card. And I'm going to go over the measurements with you guys. Okay. So for the designer series paper, you will need one piece that measures 10 and a half by four and in a second I'm going to score it for you. Um, you are going to need a piece that measures this one is five by three and a quarter and that is going to be the under layer of your insert. I've got this one here that is three and one eighths by four and seven eighths and that is our white insert piece. Now you'll need another coordinating piece of DSP. I just used a scrap again from the same package and this one measures one inch by three and one eighth and that is going to go on the top of your insert piece. And then I have just got decorative pieces. So I use the stitch circle because I love I love our stitch shapes. That is my favorite set of framelits. If you don't have them yet I use them on um, pretty much daily basis. There's ovals, squares, and circles, and you get four different sizes, but they have the great stitch pattern on them. And then I just layered it with one of our um, pieces from our circle framelits, which has 
I think 16 different sizes. Some of them are scalloped, some of them are just plain circles and it's great because they all coordinate with um, the stitched ones as well and they're great for layering. So I've got that. One beautiful reindeer, there he is there, cut out of that um, wood grain designer series paper. And then I've just got a saying that's gonna go on top, okay? So let's get to scoring and we'll show you how this goes together. I am going to bring in my scoreboard, uh, our Simply Scored, and I am going to start by scoring my piece of DSP and I'm gonna score it at five and a quarter. Now, a couple tips when you are scoring DSP, just a reminder that it is thinner than your regular cardstock, so you don't want to put as much pressure to the paper because you don't want to split it. So I've got five and a quarter, and then I'm also gonna score it at nine. Perfect. And that is all the scoring that you need. Very easy. Like I said, this is gonna be a simple project. You guys will be able to repeat, make tons of these, check out all your DSP, and you will be able to make them for all different occasions. You're gonna love it. Now, for making the pouch, all you have to do is fold it in half. And then that second little score mark, you're going to fold that back. And that is going to create your little pocket. Okay. Now to seal it off, I'm going to bring in some tear tape. And again, you want some adhesive that is going to hold this pocket tightly closed so you don't have to worry about it coming apart when you're taking that um, insert in and out. So that's why I pull in my tear tape because it is great adhesive for any project like this or any 3D project where you're making boxes or bags. Again, anything that's going to need to really have a sturdy stick to it. Now I'm gonna put another little piece just under here, just to tack this down. And there we have our little pocket. Isn't that quick and easy? We're gonna decorate that in a second. But next I'm gonna bring in this little piece here. And we're gonna put these together. I am going to start with some stamping though. I wanted to add a little bit of a decorative detail to the bottom of this insert, as you can see at the bottom there. And you can see that I pulled in a stamp and I actually did two different colors in it. So I wanna show you a quick and easy way to do that is going to be to pull in your stamp and write markers. So these markers, if you don't already have some of these, these are fantastic because you can take any image and you can make it multicolored, really simple, just by coloring with your stamp and write markers. This ink that is in here is the same ink that is in your um, ink pads, your regular ink pads. In fact, if your markers ever start to dry out, you can simply use a pair of tweezers and pull out, it's easier to pull out actually, um, the felt side here, and you can pull that out and you can just put a couple uh, drops of re-inker into the marker here, just like you would to re-ink your ink pads. You can add some drops into these to make them last longer, okay? So that's another great um, reason why it's a good investment, these markers. Now, I am going to start with the spruced, shaded spruce and actually I need the felt part so when you are coloring on your stamps you want to use the felt tip okay instead of the fine point and you don't want to go straight on you want to do it on a bit of an angle because you don't want to crush that tip of your marker you want your markers to last longer and not only that you get better coverage when you're doing it on the side like that Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna pull in my red. I'm gonna do those flowers up, just like that. Now, as I'm doing the red, what starts to happen as is the green starts to dry. So what you need to do is just before you stamp, you need to just huff or just breathe gently over the surface. And what it does is it re-moistens all of the ink. So that's what I'm gonna do just like that. And then you can go ahead and stamp it. And there you have your multicolored stamping. Voila, isn't that cool? I love it. 
it never gets old that one okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my adhesive and I am going to oh, let's get it going here I'm going to attach that um, white layer that I just stamped on onto this um, early espresso mat so I love just doing a very small frame around it it just makes the white pop a little bit more and um, brings it just more of a focal point to it it just adds a little bit now this piece here I am going to attach just across the top just like that voila so there is your insert that goes into there we go into the center of the card now we get to decorate so I am bringing in our mixed satin ribbon and this is in real red I'm gonna tie that around that fold just to add a little bit of decorative detail just like that and I'm gonna tie it off to the side just so that when I put on my other pieces, they can be centered onto my creation here. I'm going to trim that up just like that. Good. Okay, we are ready for the next step. So we are going to add together, we're going to put our old olive onto this early espresso just like that and then I'm gonna bring in this handsome reindeer oh, come on there we go I love this reindeer good okay and I'm going to attach him so he is running across this circle just like that there he looks pretty good okay now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach this to the card and I'm going to just straighten this out a little bit and I'm going to shimmy it just over to the side a little bit more so I can have this centered perfect. I'm going to bring in just a few Stampin' Dimensions because I'm going to pop this out just like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my saying. Now let's see there we go perfect you want to make sure you don't have any adhesive that goes over the edge and sticks to this insert because then you won't be able to pull it out so just be aware of that um, I have stamped the happiest Christmas wishes and again that's from our dashing deer um, stamp set and I am just going to just flag the edges of this so you can see when I do the flagging the easiest way to do that is to actually cut into the center and then go corner to center and corner to center just like that okay now I'm going to curve this slightly with my fingers to make it more ribbon like and I am going to place that just over the bottom of the reindeer go looking so good okay just like that now I have just realized that I have left oh I have one sticking to my mat here but I have left the rest of my little tiny pearls they are all packed up and it looks like my little point poinsettia piece has gone away somewhere too but I'll bring in the finished product so from this point all you need to do is I added just I needed I wanted a little something just around the neck area so I added one of the little tiny poinsettias that you just cut out with these okay and I added that in real red just kind of like a little bow tie almost um, right there and then I brought in some metallic pearls and that's just to kind of bring it all together this one here is a different pattern you can see the difference now okay and I'll bring in actually the finished one of that so you can see it totally finished um, so just slightly different ribbon combination on these two 
and different pattern, but there's from the exact same set. So that is under the mistletoe. So that is my quick little, quick and easy tutorial for you guys today. It is the pocket card. I think it's an awesome, awesome card to use up all your DSP and it just looks fabulous. It looks like you spent a whole lot of time on it but it actually doesn't take a whole lot of work, which is those are the type of projects that I love to make. Um, if there's anything that you see that you want to order, um, I do have an online store and it is just suephilip.stampinup.net. I have it the wrong way over here. That was from my Facebook Live this morning. But um, I'll put the link below in the description. And if you use the current host code right now and you place an order, it is over $50. Um, October is my birthday month, so I am giving you guys the gift of free shipping for any order over $50. Once it goes through on my online store using the host code here, then I will contact you and we will arrange a transfer or some way to um, get the shipping costs back to you. So I am re reimbursing you for your shipping costs. Now, I do have a loyalty program as well, and this month the... Um, embellishment of the month is these magnetic pearls. So these are the silver ones on here, but you also get a sheet of gold. You get over 200 of them, and they are perfect for all your holiday projects. So to get in on that, um, I run it every single month, and all you have to do is use, again, the host code for any orders that you place. Now that is orders under $200, okay? Um, if you happen to place enough in one month and it could be one or two orders doesn't matter but if you hit ninety dollars by the end of the month um, in products that you have bought under the host code then I am going to give you a portion of the hostess rewards so I will close off the host code and I will order up all of the pearls and I will be mailing them out um, for anybody who placed an order that is over $90. Um, if it happens to be over $200, don't use the host code. I want you to place that order yourself and then you will get the rewards um, when you do that, okay? So that is my project for today for my Make It Monday. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'd love to hear your comments. Um, if you want to, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel and then you won't miss any more of my projects that I have coming up. Um, if you are new to Stamping Up and within Canada, um, please send me a message and I would love to get you a copy of the um, holiday catalog or annual catalog mailed to you. Um, there's lots of great stuff in there. And again, you can take advantage of that free shipping this month, okay? So have a great rest of the week, you guys, and I will see you guys back here very soon. Bye for now.